Today, you are going to learn on the different geologic processes and landforms along plate boundaries. So, sit back and relax as you view some slides that would help you visualize some natural processes occurring along plate boundaries which could bring about different land formations. Are you ready now? Say yes, yes, yes! That's great! Okay, at this moment in time, let's take a look at your science module in quarter 1, module 3. Does anyone got the idea about the topic? Yes? Can you share your idea with us? Great! Happy to note that you have gone for that much about the topic. Are you ready, class? Our topic today is about explaining the different processes that occur along plate boundaries, which is based on the most essential learning competency of the Department of Education. Based on the topic given, the lesson is divided into three categories. First, you are going to identify the different geologic processes that happen along plate boundaries between convergent plates, namely oceanic plate and oceanic plate collision, B, oceanic plate and continental plate collision, C, Continental and continental plate collision, and you've got to explain the effects of these processes on lithosphere. Secondly, you still have to identify the different processes that are taking place along plates between divergent boundaries, where and why they take place, and their effects. On transform fault boundary will be described further by its example. The formation of San Andreas Fault. This time, try to look at Module 3. You have learned that the convection current on the Earth's mantle have caused too much pressure on crust, which results to the breakage of lithosphere into smaller segments. In effect, spaces in between or plate boundaries are created. These plate boundaries are named according to the relative movement of the plates with each other. Do you still remember the three types of plate boundaries? Great! Can you still recall our lesson on convergence of plates? You've learned that the convergence or collision of plates could happen between oceanic and continental plates also between oceanic and oceanic plates and between two continental plates. Let's try to carefully observe and discover how each type of convergence of plates could result to different landforms and geologic processes. Look at your module 3 activity number 1 on page 5 entitled Convergence between an oceanic plate and a continental plate. You have five minutes to perform it and make sure to explain the processes that occurs between plates. Are you done? Time is up! Congratulations! You've done it well! Have you enjoyed it? Let's learn more of convergence of plates. Students, you have learned that when an oceanic crust converges with a continental crust, a crack between the crust and the water called trench is formed. Why? Because the oceanic crust is denser than continental crust, due to the presence of water on it, making its density greater. This causes the oceanic crust to dive down or subduct under the overriding plate, the continental plate. The process is called subduction in which a plate dives under a less dense plate. At the mantle, the leading edge of the subducting plate melts or becomes fluid. It turns into a hot molten material which we call magma. Due to the increased heat in the mantle, the magma builds up a pressure that enables it to push the ground above it. 
This creates a column of rising magma called a mantle plug. When there is volcanic activity such as eruption, the ground moves, which is felt by us as an earthquake. As subduction of plates continues, the magma keeps pushing up between the cracks, forming a group of volcanoes called volcanic arc. The continued movement of the ground may cause a disturbance in the ocean. This may cause the water to flip or kick upwards to a few meters high called tsunamis, a Japanese term for harbor wave. This event is very dangerous when it moves inland, destroying lives and properties. Moving on, let's make it more exciting. Let's see if you can do this way. This time, you will be given a chance to discover geologic processes which may happen between the convergence of oceanic plates. Okay, let's have identified the geologic processes and events that occur whenever two oceanic plates converge or collide. Let us perform activity 2, page 6, Convergence between two oceanic crests. You have five minute time to do it. Are you done? Congratulations, you made it right. Okay, let's learn more about it. The convergence of two oceanic crests result in some similar events compared to the first type of convergence. Tsunamis may be formed, earthquakes may happen. There is also subduction because one plate is denser than the other. The front part of the subducting plate becomes magma upon reaching the mantle. Then, it builds up pressure due to heat, pushes the crust above it, forming a volcano. This is a continuous process. Since the plates are moving away from the mantle, the volcano will move with the plate and the volcano becomes extinct. A new volcano will then be formed just above the mantle plunk. As the plate continuously moves, this volcano is then rafted away forming a series of volcanoes called volcanic island arcs surrounded by water. Do you know why the Philippine plate is mostly loaded with volcanoes? This explains that the different islands were believed to have originated from the convergence of two oceanic crests. Good job! You are now on the next level of learning. Let us perform Activity 3, page 7, Convergence between two continental crests. Are you done? What have you observed? What makes this type of convergence different from the other types of convergence of plates? Great! You are now very good in identifying and describing some geologic processes that take place in convergence between two continental crests. Now, let us discuss further. In converging continental crust, what are the processes that occur? Converging continental crust or plates result in a collision zone which could cause shallow earthquakes. At that place, a crack called fold is formed. This type of convergence will cause no subduction. Why? Because the two plates have the same densities. There would be no volcanoes formed, no tsunamis. The convergence will result in a group of high landforms that we call mountain ranges. One example of this converging of two continental crests is the collision of Indian plate and Eurasian plate creating the Himalayas mountains. Before we proceed to our lesson 2, let us summarize now the different geologic processes and events that occur in every type of convergence of plates. When oceanic crust converges with continental crust, these are the geologic events. Formation of volcanic arc, formation of trench, 
occurrence of tsunami, earthquake, and subduction of plates. For the convergence of two oceanic crests, occurrence of tsunami, earthquake, subduction of plates, and formation of volcanic island arc. And in the converging of continental crests, there's a shallow earthquake, formation of fault, formation of mountain ranges, no subduction process, no volcanic formation, and no tsunamis. And it ends for now the lesson 1 in module 3. Hope that you liked and learned from this discussion. Next will be the lesson 2 of module 3 topic discussion. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Science Time Discussion by clicking the button. Have a blessed day everyone. Thank you.